Hello, my name is Ruth, and I would like to help you learn new words in English. Join me next for Hello Word Power on Hello Channel. This is Hello Channel. Come learn English as you watch TV. It will change your life. Hello, I'm Ruth Todd. Welcome to Word Power. Today we're learning words in English that begin with the letter N. Say N. That's right, N. N is a consonant. This is the sound made by an N. 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 Can you say N? That's correct. That's the N sound. This is a capital N. This is a small N. Are you ready? Let's learn words that begin with the letter N. Nag. N. A. G. Nag. You say it with me. Nag. Correct. Nag. One more time. Nag. That's right. To nag means to annoy by scolding, complaining, or criticizing over and over again. Children complain when their parents nag them. Husbands and wives do not like to be nagged by each other. Nag. Nail. 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 Now you say it. Nail. Again. Nail. That's right. One more time. Nail. Well done. Nail can mean two different things. A nail is a small, pointed piece of metal that you hammer into something. You can use a nail to hang a painting on the wall. Your nails are the hard covering at the ends of your fingers and your toes. Sometimes, girls like to paint their nails with a pretty color. Nails. Naked, naked, naked. Say it with me, naked. Again, naked. One more time, naked. Yes, that's correct. Naked means bare or without clothing. The room looked naked without any decorations. When you have no clothes on, you are naked, naked. Name, name, name. Now you try it. Name. Yes, again, name. One more time. Name. Well done, that's right. A name is what a person, a place, or animal is called. The teacher asked the students to write their name at the top of their paper. Name. Nap, nap, nap. Now you try it. Nap. Yes, again, nap. One more time. Nap. Correct. To nap means to sleep, but just for a short time. The baby always had a nap after lunch. I may take a short nap this afternoon. Nap. Napkin, napkin, napkin. Now you say it, napkin. Try it again, napkin. Yes, very well done. A napkin is a piece of paper or a piece of cloth used to protect clothes while you're eating. It's also used to wipe your mouth on. They set their table with red napkins. When you eat, you often place your napkin on your lap. Napkin. Say it again. Napkin. Well done. Narrow. 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 You try it. Narrow. Say it again. Narrow. One more time. Narrow. That's correct. Well done. Narrow has two meanings. Narrow means not wide or not broad, 
The roof has a narrow ledge. Now, if you have a narrow escape, you only just get away by a small amount. A narrow escape. Narrow. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. Hello. That's right, I said hello. I'm talking about an exciting new television channel that will change your life. My name is Ruth, and I want you to be one of the first to know about Hello Channel. Hello Channel is designed to teach you to speak English. Anyone can learn. We offer something for everyone. You'll see programming for children, teenagers, and adults, all on different levels. With Hello Channel, you'll hear, see, read, and speak English as you're watching entertaining television programs, making it easy to learn. If you've always wanted to learn English, but haven't had a chance, Hello Channel is perfect for you. Start today, and remember, for a brighter future, just say hello. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Nasal, nasal, nasal. Now you say it, nasal. Again, nasal. One more time, nasal. Correct. Nasal means having to do with your nose. A symptom of a cold or flu is often congestion in the nasal area. Nasal. Say it one more time. Nasal. Correct. Nasty. 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 Say it with me. Nasty. Again, nasty. One more time. Nasty. Correct. Nasty means being cruel or unkind. The little boy had a nasty attitude toward the other children. Nasty. Nasty can also mean a large amount, very terrible, as in, she had a nasty cold. Nasty. Nation. 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 Repeat with me. Nation. Again, nation. That's right, nation. A nation is a large group of people that live in the same part of the world and share the same government. There are many different nations all around the world. Say it one more time, nation. Correct. Native, native, native. Repeat with me, native. Yes, again, native. One more time, native. Well done. Native means someone born in a particular place. Your native country is the country where you were born. If you are living in the country you are born, you are often called a native of that country. Native. Natural. 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 Now you say it. Natural. Again, natural. Yes, one more time. Natural. Well done. Good job. Natural has several meanings. Natural means that something can be found or produced in nature. The lotion was made of all natural ingredients. Natural also means normal or usual. It's natural to feel tired after you exercise. Natural also means something that's present at birth rather than something you learn after you're born. She was a natural at soccer. Natural. Nature. 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 
you say it, nature. Yes, again, nature. One more time, nature. Correct, well done. Nature is everything in the world that is not made by people. Nature is plants, animals, land formations, and weather. It is nice to hike and see the nature all around you. There are many beautiful things to see in nature. Nature. Naughty. 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 Now, you say it. Naughty. Again, naughty. Yes, so one more time. Naughty. Well done. Naughty means to be badly behaved or be disobedient. The little girl was naughty because she would not obey her mother. Naughty. Navel. 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 Now you say it. Navel. Again, navel. One more time. Navel. That's right. Navel means having to do with the navy or ships on the sea. He was a naval officer in the armed forces. Naval. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. This is Hello Channel. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Near. 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 Now you repeat. Near. Again. Near. Correct. Near has two different meanings. Near means to be close to. His house was near the school. Near also means narrow or close. We had a near escape from the fire. Near. Neat. 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 Now you try it. Neat. Right. Again. Neat. One more time. Neat. That's correct. Neat means being very orderly or being clean. The kitchen looked neat and organized. I like it when my children keep their room looking neat. Neat. Nearly. 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 Say it with me. Nearly. Again, nearly. Well done. Nearly means almost or not quite. He is nearly home from work. He will be there in just one or two minutes. Nearly. Necessary. 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 Now say it with me. Necessary. Again, necessary. Yes, one more time. Necessary. Good job. That's correct. If something is necessary, you have to do it. You must do it. It is necessary for people to eat food and drink water. It is also necessary to get your oil changed in your car. Necessary. Neck, neck, neck. Say it with me, neck. Again, neck. One more time, neck. Well done. Neck has two meanings. Your neck is right here. It is the part of your body that joins your head to your shoulders. A giraffe has a very long neck. The neck is also something that is the narrow part. She picked up the bottle at the neck. Neck. 
nectar, nectar, nectar. Say it with me, nectar. Again, nectar. One more time, nectar. That's correct, well done. Nectar is a sweet liquid that bees collect from flowers and turn into honey. The nectar from the flowers makes delicious honey. Nectar. Need. 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 Say it with me. Need. Good. Again, need. One more time. Need. Well done. Need has two different meanings. Need means to want or require something urgently. She will need a babysitter for her children while she is gone. Need. Need also means something that you have to have, such as food, shelter, clothing. These three are basic needs. Each person needs food, shelter, and clothing. Need. Needle, needle, needle. Now you say it, needle. Again, needle. One more time, needle. Correct, well done. Needle has two different meanings. A needle is a thin pointed piece of metal with a hole for thread at one end. A needle is used for sewing by hand. The needle needs to be sharp enough to go through the cloth. A needle is also used for injections or taking blood. The doctor uses a needle to administer flu shots. Needle. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. Learning English may be the biggest factor in the jobs you can get and the money you can earn. Hi, I'm Michelle, and I want to tell you about Hello Channel, an exciting new channel that teaches you English as you're watching TV. As you watch Hello Channel, you'll see, read, hear, and speak English, and before you know it, you'll be on your way to a better job and a brighter future. All you have to do is say hello. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Negative, negative, negative. You say it, negative. Yes, again, negative. Correct, one more time, negative. Well done. Negative means to give the answer no. It also means having a bad attitude. She tested negative for the illness. The boy had a negative outlook on life. Negative. Neglect. 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 Now you try it. Neglect. Again, neglect. One more time. Neglect. That's correct. Neglect has two different meanings. To neglect something means to fail to take care of something or someone. The mother bird was going to neglect the baby birds. They might die. Neglect also means to fail to do something. She neglected to turn off the curling iron which is dangerous and could cause a fire. Do not neglect the children you are babysitting. Neglect. Neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. Now you say it, neighbor. Yes, again, neighbor. One more time, neighbor. 
Yes, that's correct. A neighbor is someone that lives very close to you, maybe even next door. She asked to borrow a cup of sugar from her neighbor. He borrowed his neighbor's lawnmower. Neighbor. Neighborhood. 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 Now you say it. Neighborhood. Yes, again, neighborhood. One more time, neighborhood. Correct. Your neighborhood is the local area around your home. All of the houses in our neighborhood looked much the same. It is nice to live in a friendly, safe neighborhood. Neighborhood. Neither. 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 Now you try it. Neither. Yes, say it again. Neither. One more time. Neither. That's correct. Neither can mean not either one. Neither of my brothers likes to eat spinach. Neither of the teams played fairly. Neither. Nephew, nephew, nephew. Now you say it, nephew. Again, nephew. Mm -hmm. One more time, nephew. Correct, well done. Someone's nephew is the son of his or her brother, sister, brother-in-law, or sister-in-law. His nephew was 10 years younger than he was. Nephew. Nerve. 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 Say it with me. Nerve. Again, nerve. That's correct. Well done. Nerve has two meanings. A nerve is one of the very thin fibers that sends messages between your brain and other parts of your body, so you can feel things and move. He hurt his back and injured his nerve. Having a lot of nerve means that someone is courageous. You must have a lot of nerve to be a lion tamer. Nerve. Nervous. 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 Say it with me. Nervous. Again, nervous. One more time, nervous. Correct, well done. Nervous means to be easily upset or tense, unsure or uncomfortable. Thunder and lightning sometimes make people nervous. Speaking in public often makes people nervous, nervous. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. My name is Max. My name is Alex. And you're watching Hello Channel. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Nest, nest, nest. Now you try it, nest. Again, nest. Yes, one more time, nest. That's right. A nest is a place built by birds and many other animals to lay their eggs. The bird's nest was high in the tree, nest. Never. 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 You say it. Never. Again. Never. One more time. Never. That's correct. Never means at no time. Not ever. The girl never learned to ride a bike. It is never a good idea to break the law. Never. Say it again, never. Correct. New, 
new, new. Say it with me, new. Again, new. One more time, new. That's right, well done. New has several meanings. New means just made or just started. The company came out with a new model of car. New also means seen, known, or thought for the first time. The scientist found a new species of birds. New can also mean not yet used or experienced. He opened a new box of cookies. New. Newborn. 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 You say it, newborn. Again, newborn. Repeat, newborn. That's correct. Newborn means recently born into the world. The newborn baby didn't even open its eyes yet. Newborn. News. 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 Now you say it. News. Again, news. One more time. News. That's correct. News is fresh or recent information or facts. It was news to him that there was a car accident. Sometimes we listen to the news on the radio, read the news from the paper, or watch the news on television. News. Newspaper. 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 Now you try it. Newspaper. Again, newspaper. One more time. Newspaper. That's correct. The newspaper is a publication made up of several pages of paper containing news reports, pictures, and articles. Newspapers are usually published every day or once a week. Next. 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 Say it with me. Next. Yes, again. Next. One more time. Next. That's correct. Next has two meanings. Next means immediately following. His favorite show is coming on the television next. Next also means the nearest or closest. He sat right next to the stage. Next. Nice. 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 Now you say it. Nice. Again. Nice. One more time. Nice. That's correct. Nice means to be pleasant or kind. It was a nice day outside because the sun was shining. I hope you are always nice to your neighbors. Nice. Nickname. 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 You say it. Nickname. Again. Nickname. One more time. Nickname. Yes, that's right. A nickname is a name that's used along with or instead of a person's real name. Many left-handed baseball pitchers have the nickname Lefty. Nickname. You did very well today. Now, practice some of the new words you learned on Hello Word Power. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Hello, my name is Ruth, and I would like to help you learn new words in English. Join me next for Hello Word Power on Hello Channel. This is Hello Channel. Hello, I'm Ruth Todd. Welcome to Word Power. 
Today, we're learning words in English that begin with the letter N. Say N. That's right, N. N is a consonant. This is the sound made by an N. 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 Can you say N? That's correct. That's the N sound. This is a capital N. This is a small n. Are you ready? Let's learn words that begin with the letter N. Niece, niece, niece. Now you try it. Niece. Again, niece. One more time. Niece. Well done. That's correct. A niece is the daughter of someone's brother, sister, brother-in-law, or sister-in-law. My young niece was very good at painting. Niece. Night. 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 Say it with me. Night. Again, night. One more time. Night. Correct. Night is the time between sunset and sunrise. The stars come out at night. It is usually cooler during the night hours. Nimble, nimble, nimble. You try it, nimble. Yes, say it again, nimble. Please repeat, nimble. That's right. To be nimble means to move quickly or lightly. The gymnast was nimble. Young children are often more nimble than their older parents. Nimble. No. N -o. No. You say it. No. Again. No. That's right. No is a negative response, usually to a question. He said no when I asked him if I could climb the ladder. Sometimes parents need to say no to their children. No. Nod. 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 Now you try it. Nod. Again, nod. Well done. Nod means to do this. To move your head up and down, especially to say yes. I am nodding my head right now. He might nod his head in approval. Nod. Noise. 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 You try it. Noise. Yes, again. Noise. Correct. A noise is a sound you can hear. It can be loud. It can be soft. Noise is heard by people's ears. Noise. Noisy. 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 You say it. Noisy. Again. Noisy. Say it one more time. Noisy. That's correct. Noisy means being extra loud. The television was turned up very loud and the speakers were too noisy. Sometimes many children in a room make things very noisy. Noisy. None. 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 Say it with me. None. Again. None. One more time. None. Correct. None means no one or not one. They ate all of their carrots. There was none left. All of the parents' children had grown up and left home. There were none still living with the parents. None. Nonsense. 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 Now you say it. Nonsense. Again, say nonsense. One more time. Nonsense. Correct. If something is nonsense, it is silly or it has no real meaning. The song's words are simply sounds 
They are nonsense. Nonsense. Noon. 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 Say it with me. Noon. Yes, say it one more time. Noon. Well done. Noon is the time of day when the clock is at 12 p.m., right in the middle of the day. We usually eat our lunch at noon. Noon. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. For a brighter future, just say hello. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Normal. 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 Try it. Normal. Yes, say it again. Normal. One more time. Normal. Correct. Well done. Normal means usual or regular. Eight o'clock was her normal bedtime. She was a normal weight for her age and her height. Normal. North. 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 Say it with me. North. Yes, again. North. North has two meanings. North is any area or region lying in this direction. The mountains are up north. North is one of the four main points of the compass. North is to your right when you face the direction where the sun is sitting. North. Nose. 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 Now you say it. Nose. Again. Nose. That's correct. Nose. Your nose is right here. It is the part of your face that you use when you breathe and when you smell. The man had a long nose. We use our nose to smell beautiful flowers. Nose. Nosy. 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 You say it. Nosy. Again. Nosy. One more time. Nosy. Well done. Someone who is nosy is interested in the things that have nothing to do with them. The woman was nosy. She was always asking personal questions. Nosy. Not. 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 You say it. Not. Yes. Again, not. Correct. Not means at no time or in no way. They are not going to the grocery store today. I will not give you any money. Not. Notable. 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 You say it. Notable. Yes. Again. Notable. One more time. Notable. Correct. Well done. Notable means important, remarkable, or worthy of notice. The man's skills were notable. She was a famous actress. Her awards were notable. He was a notable president. Notable. Note. 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 You say it. Note. Again, note. Right. One more time. Note. Well done. Note has several different meanings. A note is a short letter or a message. She left a note so everyone would know where she went. Note also means to notice a fact and pay attention to it. Please note that the price of this item has increased. A note is also a word, a phrase, or a short sentence written down to remind you of something. He scribbled down a quick note 
to remember his doctor's appointment. Note. Notebook. 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 Now you say it. Notebook. Yes, let's say it again. Notebook. One more time. Notebook. Correct. A notebook is a pad of paper that you can write on. The student did her math problems in her notebook. Nothing. 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 You say it. Nothing. Yes, let's say it again. Nothing. One more time. Nothing. Yes, that's correct. Well done. Nothing means not anything. Not at all. There was nothing to eat in the refrigerator. It was empty. I care nothing for that book. I will not read it. Nothing. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. Children can learn English by watching Hello Channel. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Notice. 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 You say it. Notice. Again, notice. Correct. Notice has several meanings. First, notice means to see something or become aware of something. She didn't notice that the dog had escaped from his cage. A notice is also a written message that's put in a public place to tell people about something. There was a notice on the building that it was going to be torn down. Notice. Noun. 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 You say it. Noun. Yes, say it again. Noun. Well done, that's correct. A noun is a word. It is a part of English language that names a person, place, or thing. The words dog, France, and apple are all considered nouns in the English language. A proper noun is the name of something or someone, such as Mexico or John Smith. Noun, proper noun. Novel, novel, novel. Say it with me, novel. Yes, one more time, novel. Yes, that's correct. A novel is a book that tells a story. It's a made-up story about people, places, and events. The novel was so good, he couldn't put his book down and stop reading. Novel. November. 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 You say it. November. Yes, say it again. November. One last time. November. Yes, correct. November is the 11th month on the yearly calendar. November is between October and December. November is in the season of autumn. November. Nudge. 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 Say it with me. Nudge. Say it again. Nudge. One more time. Nudge. Well done. Nudge means to give someone a small push, often with your elbow. She gave him a nudge when it was his turn to go onto the stage. Nudge. Numb. 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 You try it. Numb. That's right. The B on the end is silent. Numb. Say it one more time. Numb. Correct. Well done. Numb means being unable to feel anything or unable to move. His hands became numb from the cold. Numb. Number. 
number. Number. You say it with me. Number. Yes, again. Number. One more time. Number. Correct. A number is a word or a symbol that's used for counting and for adding, subtracting, all mathematics. He counted the number of apples in the bowl. She learned her numbers so she could go to school. Number. Nurse. 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 Say it with me. Nurse. Again, nurse. One more time, nurse. Yes, well done. A nurse is someone that looks after people who are sick or injured in the hospital. Nurses help patients to feel better. The nurse gave him medication to get over his sickness. Nurse. Nutrient. Nutrient. Say it with me, nutrient. Yes, say it again, nutrient. That's correct, well done. A nutrient is something that is needed by people and animals and plants to stay strong and healthy. Proteins, minerals, and vitamins are all nutrients that are good for your body. Nutrient. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. Learn English on your level, in your home, on your schedule. Introducing Hello Channel, an exciting new way to learn English as you build a better future. Join us and say hello. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Navy. N-A-V. Navy. Now you say it. Navy. Again. Navy. One more time. Navy. That's right. Well done. The Navy is the branch of a country's military that conducts all operations at sea. Jeffrey loves sailing and wants to someday join the Navy. Say it again, Navy. Good job. Net, n-e-t, net. You try it, net. Again, net. Once more, net. That's right. Net has two meanings. A net is an open mesh material that can be made of rope, twine, cord, or a similar material. It is usually used for catching fish or animals. The fishermen throw their big net over the side of the boat, hoping to catch many fish. Net is also a shortened name for the internet or the World Wide Web. Janie spends a lot of time shopping on the net. Say it again, net. Well done. Now, now, now. You try it, now. Again, now. One more time, now. That's right, now. Now means at the present time or at this exact moment. You are learning words in English right now. Watch Hello Channel now so you can learn English with me. Say it again, now. Correct, well done. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. Hello. The job market is a competitive place. In today's economy, extra skills mean a better job for you. Speaking English is the skill you need for greater opportunity, more money, and a brighter future. Introducing Hello Channel 
an exciting new television channel that teaches English as you watch TV. There's something for everyone, and the more you watch, the faster you'll learn. All you have to do is say hello. This looks like hide and seek, but it's not. Kids often withdraw when their needs aren't being met. It would be easier if they said, I need a little one-on-one -on -one time. But it's up to us, their parents, to learn their language. And once you figure it out, you don't really have to say much at all. A thought from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Nursery. 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 You try it. Nursery. Again, nursery. One more time. Nursery. Yes, that's right. Well done. A nursery can be a room in a house for the special use of young children. Children's beds, clothes, and toys are all found in the nursery. A nursery can also be a room or a place where young children are cared for during a parent's workday. The company has a nursery in the building so workers can bring their young children to work. A nursery can also be a place where young plants and trees are grown and sold for planting and growing someplace else. Each spring, I buy flowers for my pots at the nursery. Say it again, nursery. Yes, that's right. Nut, n -t. nut. Now you try it, nut. Again. Nut. One more time. Nut. Yes, that's right. Nut has several meanings. A nut is a fruit that has a tough, hard shell on the outside with an edible kernel on the inside. Most nuts grow on bushes or trees. Almonds, pecans, and pistachios are her favorite nuts. A nut is also an informal word for a person who is eccentric or odd. Wendy is known as a nut who does funny, unexpected things. A nut is also a small piece of metal with a hole in the middle. A nut is usually either square or hexagon shaped. That's a shape with six sides. A nut is used with a bolt as a fastener. Say it one more time, nut. Yes, well done. Nutritious, new, trish, us. Nutritious, you try it, nutritious. Again, nutritious. One more time. Nutritious. That's right. Nutritious means giving nourishment or healthy and good for a body. Each night, the healthy mother prepares a nutritious meal for her hungry family. Say it again. Nutritious. Correct. Well done. You did very well today. Now, practice some of the new words you learned on Hello Word Power. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.